Hey, what's up you guys? So Stacy and Tanya here with yet another Magic at Your Door unboxing. Yay! So excited! So, for those of you who have seen our Magic at Your Door unboxing, this is another month. This is for the month of May. Um, I'll show you a little little man named Dude. He's actually dressed as the Death Star, I believe it is. We're not huge Star Wars fans, but I think I know that much that it's the, the Death Star. Um, they have a really cool new Star Wars um, attraction that's opened in Hollywood Studios. And, and the last time we were there, it wasn't really open yet. It was only open. You can go in and check it out, but it wasn't like full effect. So we didn't even go in there. Um, but maybe next time. So for those of you who do not know what Magic at Your Door is, Magic at Your Door is an awesome Disney subscription box that we have been partaking in for about four months now. This is our fourth box. Um, we're having a great time with it. Uh, it's $99.99 a month. Um, I know that when you first subscribe, you have to commit to three months. It's an auto renewal, so it'll renew every every month. At the first of the month, they take out the money. Um, and you have to commit to three months. After the three months, if you decide that you don't want it anymore, you can cancel it, but it's not gonna happen. I, I absolutely loved getting a little bit of Disney delivered to our house every single month. Mm -hmm. It's a completely customizable service. You actually go online and you sign up for your account and then there's this huge page where you can check off um, which characters that you like, which attractions you like, which parks you enjoy. Um, there's even little spots where you can ad lib things that you don't want in the box. Like I know that this is Star Wars because it's the, May the 4th, May the 4th be with you. But we did actually put that we didn't want any Star Wars mm -hmm. um, items because we don't collect Star Wars. Not that we don't appreciate Star Wars. I think it's awesome. I think it's a cool franchise. But we don't we don't collect that kind of stuff. Um, it would have been a waste to receive anything. But if we do receive something in this box, we'll make we'll make the most of it. We'll either gift it or something like that. I know my brother's into Star Wars. Her brother, I think, is into Star Wars. Um, if you do sign up for the subscription box, uh, when you do fill out your little customizable survey thing, just make sure you're like really specific. Mm -hmm. Try not to be broad because like. I'm sure it's probably hard for them as well like if it's super broad yeah and if like say you like the fab five but they're not like your favorite I wouldn't put it because like then they might send you something that's five five instead of like say your favorite is Elsa and they'll send you fab five over Elsa so just put your favorites you can always change it too throughout right um, you can change it whenever as long as as it's before what the first. I think it's if it's before the I'm not 100% sure on this Mike if you're watching please put it in the comments I think it you have to edit it before the fifth yeah um, of every month. Yeah, so you could change it, like, obviously, like, your preferences change, so you can always go in and change your preferences at any time, like, before the 5th, mm -hmm. um, and just change it up, so you can get, like, if you if you feel like you've gotten enough ears, you can always take right. the ears off, if you feel like you want some hats now, you can put the hats in, t-shirts, they pretty much have, like, anything. Yeah, one thing, another really th cool thing about Magic at Your Door is that they're very interactive, they do have a Facebook group, I can link to the Facebook group down um, below in the description of the video. Mike, the curator of the box, is completely completely interactive with with his community and it's awesome because he'll post stuff on there that he receives and he's like hey if you guys want one of these in your box let me know and more likely than not you're gonna get one in your box so it's really cool we really enjoy it we've been enjoying it very much so far two thumbs way way up okay let's dig in <laughs> let's check it out so when you first open the box there's going to be fabulous packing confetti and there's always, always, always a little newsletter right here. Um, so with this newsletter, there's there's like current, I guess they call it current events, like they have a Christmas in July box right now, I believe that's $200. Oh, this year we will be sending all 4th of July themed merch in June. So if you guys are into 4th of July Disney merch, subscribe <laughs> for June. You can get some awesome 4th of July items in your June box. I really like that they're doing that because a lot of times with subscription boxes, like I've seen on YouTube, um, like around 4th of July, people will get their items after. So it's like kind pointless. of pointless. Pointless. You gotta wait a whole year. Yeah. To use it. So the fact that Mike is doing this is really cool. You're awesome. Mike. That's awesome. So that way people will have their items in time for the 4th of July. And mm -hmm. they can have, like if you get years, yeah. you can wear them for the 4th of July. <laughs> and then, of course, as always, there's the color coded um, pricing system that Disney uses in their parks. So, like, mint and purple and maroon and yeah colors <laughs> so one more look at what this looks like up here it's just the confetti it's the funnest thing ever i love the confetti i love the Tiny confetti too doesn't... no she doesn't she's lying yeah you can you tell the sarcasm it's white this time so, too and our shag carpet is white, white. <laughs> there's silver in it all right so first item so we'll find the silver pieces yeah first item Ooh. <gasps> 
Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> yes. we were, oh, there's two items in here. Here you go. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> so first things first. <laughs> These are going in our kitchen right now. When I'm done filming this video, they're going in. Stitch is my favorite, like, character. Like he's the cutest thing. Non-human character. Yeah, he's my favorite non-human character, aside from all the characters of The Lion King. Um, but I love these. We were just talking about how we were hoping that we get some new... Um, Tea towels. Yeah, because we have a Little Mermaid one right now. But this is so nice. It's Lilo and Stitch and it says Ohana and Aloha, which means hello and goodbye. <laughs> and, just, and it's just so nice. Look at this. Does it say Ohana too? It does. It says Ohana. Ohana means Ohana. Oh my god, I just realized. Ta-da! I wore my See that? Shirt today. <laughs> That's weird. That's awesome. I have witchy powers. So look at how freaking cute he is. I cannot wait. Thank you so much. This is going right in our kitchen. I love that item for sure. Amazing. Okay, so another thing with magic at your door is you have to check every nook and cranny because Mike and everyone there likes to hide things. <laughs> it's so fun. in between the tea towels, we just found this. Right in between there, we found. I love it. This. It looks like a VHS, but that's what makes it great because it's actually a, graph paper a notebook. So I'm gonna show you this up close. And while Tanya's showing you this, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my love for The Lion King. Here it is. I absolutely love The Lion King. I love everything about Lion King. It, it, I love the fact that it's kind of, it's based off, in a way the story is based off of Hamlet, which is one of my favorite Shakespeare plays. So um, the fact that we got this is awesome because Tani loves stationery. I love The Lion King. Tani will not be writing in this. No, I, <laughs> that's mine. I love stationery. I have, like I've bought a few notebooks. Like every time we go to the store and we see notebooks, mm -hmm. she's like, can you get away from the notebooks? And I'm like, no, I cannot. No, this is a collector's item. I, have you shown? Like no. it literally looks like, it's so cool. Like for, for all you youngins, movies. for all you youngins, this is what we used to watch movies on. Yeah, right. Like, and if, <laughs> yeah, that's what you used to watch them on. And once the VCR ate them, you were in trouble unless your dad was super cool. Could figure it out. Or your mom. Or grandparent. Then the page there on the little corner, there's Timon. Or Timon. I don't know how. I say Timon because I'm lazy. But. And on the other side is graph paper. I love this. Like I said, I'm not writing in this. And seeing this in person makes me want all of them. So if you got any extra ones laying around, throw them in the box. Because these are definitely something that we will collect and we'll put them on our little bookshelf. Mm -hmm, for sure. Um, we already have a few, so. Like not of not these. of these. <laughs> I would hope so. Oh, oh, this is interesting. Oh, that's cute. Oh, it's a, a phone case. All right, I'm just gonna open this quick. So this is a Disney Parks item. This it, it says smartphone case. I'm gonna show you this up close. It's got little hidden Mickey's all over it. It's like a a navy blue color. I'm gonna open it in a second. I'm gonna show you both sides first. So that's the other side. This is like a little pocket, so you could probably put like anything really let's see what this looks like on the inside oh it's pretty it's just not uh -huh. there you go that's that's for you Hello? the rest is for me no i have no time for this right now i'm filming a video <laughs> <laughs> so that's what the inside looks like it's pretty much just the inverted uh version of the outside the outside is like blue on the inside with white and then it's the opposite on the inside it's got a little pocket so this is for your smartphone i love this this is it's definitely cute. an item that i'm going to be using next time we go to the parks yeah. um because I like... Because you can put pretty much anything yeah. in there. Because our phones are... Exactly. Like, smartphones these days are pretty small. Yeah. Fairly small. Unless you have, like, the pluses or something. And then... Oh, that's so cute. Um, and then, it, like, you can clip it onto anything and just carry it. It's This is definitely going to be something that we put, we're going to be using for our smartphones. Yeah. Um, it's easy to carry on rides, which is really convenient. Yeah. Like, I hate having, like, an extra bag in the rides. And I can just have this on my wrist. And it's perfect. I love this. Thank really you so much. It. I keep saying thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, like thank when you're a kid you. and your mom makes you say thank you to everyone. I'm like, can Did I just say thank you? <laughs> I see something. I see nothing. Oh. Are you okay? <gasps> I'm so Mike. excited. Mike and number one, man, you guys, you guys are awesome. These were, like, like we said in our preferences, you can ad lib like with like use in your own words and ask for specific items that you really want and this is a testament to how they really do pay attention to what the individual person wants because i specifically put in there that we really love the ice cream bar ears and if they had any laying around that tanya would love them because tanya loves disney snacks items Snack and she loves ears so here you go my love yes i'm gonna put these on in a second i'm just gonna show you guys first 
Okay, so these are the ears. They have uh, brown sequins to be like the chocolate of the Mickey bar. It's got this gorgeous, uh, it's kind of like a, almost like the millennial pink um, color of, millennial pink bow. It's also got the sequins on it. And on this side, it is a bitten part of the <laughs> ice cream bar. This is the cream of the ice cream, and then that's the chocolate, and then regular headband. I, I love these. I'm gonna put these on right now. Oh yes. She's been talking about these ears since she saw them. I love it. Your turn, so now I have two snack ears. I have the donut ones, the pink donut ones with the pink frosting that came from also a Magic at Euro box. And now I have these, so we just keep sending them. Just Thank you so much, nuts. guys. Again. <laughs> now, it's time for the famous Magic That was you know. extra. <laughs> okay. I think it deserved that kind of intro. La, 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 la. I don't want anything to pop up. Ooh, you're like gonna a, be like happy. a monster. You're gonna be like happy. <gasps> oh my goodness! This is great because we have started this um this pack. We haven't finished it yet. So we're super excited. It's my happy dance. It's my happy pin dance. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna show you. So this one is I don't remember it's the a name. cuties pack. The cutie, where do you see that? I don't, it's just cute, so I call it a cutie. <laughs> <laughs> this is the front of the package. It's got Simba in the front. And then these are the possible ones that you could get from this pack. I'm trying to think of what we have. We have Tinkerbell, right? I'm not sure. I can actually open up our pins. We might have Tinkerbell, we might have Donald. I know we have uh, Mushu. Mickey. I was going down the line. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we have Hercules, we have Tigger. I think we have Peter Pan. Oh, I think there's more. We have Mickey, and I think that's it. So, you may go first. You missed oh, the bag. I missed. Our <laughs> first one is a double, but it's a okay. cool double. I love Mushu. We did get a double this first pull, and it's Mushu. He is so cute. Oh, we got another double. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we got Tigger, and I love Tigger because my first and only pet that I ever had as a kid was named Tigger. And so I do collect Tigger pins, but we do already have Mr. Tigger. So that will be traded away, or gifted away. <gasps> oh my goodness, so finally. So the whole reason I started collecting these ones is because I really, really wanted the Simba, who is like the main, like the, the one right on the, on the pack. And finally, we have Simba. Like I've said a million times in this video, I love the Lion King and Simba is so precious. That's exciting. Yes. I don't think we have this one. Minnie. We don't. She's cute. So now she matches our Mickey. Yay. They found each other. There is Minnie looking all glamorous as usual in her heels. Minnie reminds me of my mom. <laughs> my mom's always like dressed in, dressed to impress and I feel like Minnie's the same way. Okay, last one. Hopefully it's amazing. Oh, oh we don't, have, we don't it. have it. So it is amazing. It is Chip, and you can tell he's Chip because he has a black nose and not a red one, and he's so cute. Chip and Dale are absolutely adorable, and um, that was it for our box, and I say that was it, but like, I mean like, that was it, that was amazing. Yeah. What a great awesome. box. As always, these boxes have been amazing. We will not definitely be continuing with the subscription box. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to calculate everything. So we are back, and we have calculated the value of this box, which as always, it exceeded what we paid for it. The value of the box was actually a hundred. <laughs> it was free. <laughs> it was one hundred and sixteen dollars and ninety-five cents. Like I said, we paid ninety-nine ninety-nine for the box, and we got more than what we paid for. And all we love every single one of these items. We're actually keeping every single one of these items. We're absolutely in love with the subscription box, and we're so happy that we have continued services, and we will continue forever. Ever and ever. So yeah, we paid ninety nine ninety nine ninety nine ninety nine ninety nine for the box, and we got one hundred and sixteen dollars worth of merch. So yeah, if you guys are interested, the link is below. I'm linking to the website below. I always link to the website below on, under these videos. So go ahead, click on it, check it out. Um, you can also do like a one time box. You can make your own box and pick your own items. Um, they have pin boxes. So 
if you if you love Disney and you live you don't live close to Disney where you can't go to the parks all the time, this is or even if you do go to the parks all the time, you don't want to go shop there. You wanna you want your shopping to come to you and you want to be surprised. Um, this is a great option. It's so much fun. Um, every month it's like we look forward to it so much. Like we're already looking forward to our next box and we just opened this one. Yep. Um, and like like I said, so they do pay attention to to your preferences because I asked for no Star Wars items mm -hmm. and this would be the perfect box to put a Star Wars item in there but there's none in there so we thank you if you guys have not seen any of our other videos and please go ahead and check them out like subscribe to my channel click the notification bell so that you know when I post a new video summer's coming we have a lot of cool things planned we're gonna be going to Las Vegas we have challenges that we want to do outside it's gonna be really fun so please 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 come back thank you for watching and as always make good choices bye